Welcome to another episode of Odd Vlogs. And this is kind of a little bit of a different vlog that we're doing. This is part of a the video series, the 4th of July holiday weekend video series, part one. We just drove to Pennsylvania and we made a pit stop at Wegmans! Wegmans! So patriotic. It's our favorite grocery store. Look! God bless America! Oh my gosh. Wow. Right now we're getting something to eat for dinner because we haven't had dinner. And we're also going to be shopping for the summer. Elena right now is looking for sushi. So let's go and follow her. I want sushi. Okay, now we're gonna get some, some fruit. I want some fruit. Shopping for peaches, because why not, it's summer. Nice one, Elena. Good soups. How do you know if it's a good watermelon? Well, um, or these are nice and long ones, but I want a big one. Should we get this one? Oh, or do we get this one, right? This is nice. <laughs> yeah, let me hold it. <laughs> I don't know which one. This one could be good. But what's the difference? Let me just... Oh! Just take a look. Look, these are cute and small. The other one's bigger. I see the other one. But this is a nice one. You know what? I'm gonna tell Mikey to get this one right here. I'm gonna buy one and he's gonna buy one. No, oh, no, you know what I'm saying? I'm with Pete, man. My Pete doing what he loves. He's just chilling. We shout you out on Instagram or? Nah, my face is a shout out, man. You shout, shout out to the face. Shout out to the face, <laughs> man. See you, man. Yo, keep doing your thing, bro. We're That's looking so for some mozzarella. Is this what you want? Oh, man. I know it's not good, but you got a little limited edition Hershey's. Popping? Oh, no, not the popping. Should I get it? Elena says no. I say yes. Fourth of July weekend calls for ice cream. I'm looking for some ice cream. Two forty-nine. So you may be asking yourself, what makes Wegman such an enjoyable shopping experience? I honestly think there's no grocery store like this in the world. Look above here, and there's a little train passing up there. There's no market like this in the world, and I'm going to say it over and over again. I might even say it one more time. There's no market like this in the world. Fourth of July weekend is also one of my favorite weekends of the entire world. It only comes but once a year. Well, that was a successful Wegman's trip. I'm definitely gonna go back. How do you feel about that? She feels good, she feels really good. Now we're gonna go back, unpack our stuff, maybe have some watermelon, and uh, that will be the end of this vlog. One of the main things, Eleanor, that I really wanted to discuss in this episode is how to pick the perfect watermelon. <laughs> if you notice, the watermelon that we got uh, was one of those really long ones. Those are seeded watermelons. The seedless watermelons are rounder and plumper. The one that we had was very long and it's seeded. Those watermelons are much sweeter. It's generally, for picking, you don't care what I'm saying, do you, Eleanor? Uh-huh. Picking the perfect watermelon, whether it's plump and seedless or long and seeded, is generally the same thing. Basically, if it's got like a yellow spot and you, you do the knock test, if, if it's hollow inside, usually you're getting a good watermelon. That's it. That's that's all I have to say. I mean, how much <laughs> how much more can I talk about watermelon? I can talk about watermelon all day long, actually. Elena. Can you say something? Because I feel like I'm the only person talking. Can I have another cracker? I'm at the house. 3rd of July, Mikey's here with the banjo. Mikey, I went to Wegmans. I'm, I'm aware that you like Wegmans too, very much. Yeah. What do you love most about Wegmans? It's an independently owned company. I love that because they maintain their quality, but also they just do what they want to do. Also, I like the way that, uh, that it's laid out. The layout, the floor plan is, is fantastic. Mikey, this is the first of the vlog series that I'm doing. The 4th of July weekend vlog series, episode one. What is your take on the vlog series? Oh, I love the vlog series. I watch it for memories, but I'm also a little close to it. I'm a bit too involved, I think, to have an opinion. There's Nia. Look at my nails. Wow. She did that just for me, by the way. I did. I, I know that he loves when I do 4th of July nails. <laughs> Nia's making some really good dessert tomorrow. Can you... Tell us a little bit about that or no? So tentatively, we're gonna make the s'mores 
just dip. That's like an American flag, so that'll be really cute. My cousin made it a few years ago, so I want to try to remake it. Then I'm thinking some kind of pie. And then another thing for Petey is he loves funfetti, 4th of July funfetti cake, so I'm gonna make that. I have like a cute outfit tomorrow. I haven't done that in a long time. How do you feel about the 4th of July weekend that, that's upon us? Hey. Hi. Well, right now we are maybe prematurely uh, opening up this watermelon to see how good of a job that we see how good of a job we did with picking it. This will tell me how good my stills are. As you can see, like I was explaining before, we have the streak running across here. Let's see how this is the determining factor. Oh my gosh. First slice goes down on me. It's very ripe. It's juicy. It's refreshing. It's refreshing. A little ripe for my liking. I need a big one. And you. Watermelon. Nia, can you have watermelon? Yeah. A little sweet for my taste. Like too sweet? It's very ripe, the watermelon. I'm gonna leave it over here, right there. Now we're showing Nia what we got at Wegmans. So for and I also got a yogurt, I wanna try this one. Yogurt parfait pop. Frozen fresh and Greek yogurt and granola. Look what I got, Nia. Oh. Just because because it's a festive weekend. Nuts? Yeah. Nuts. Yeah. Yeah. It's all right. Popping candy, it's gonna be like nasty, <laughs> but also- We are gonna do a taste test. So for the reaction to the taste test video, watch episode two of the three-part series, Fourth of July weekend. I like saying that. Is, is Wegmans very Fourth of July themed? I was hoping to see more and I didn't see as much. Part two will be Wegmans tomorrow. What was that? <laughs> what did he do? That's just feeling the camera tonight. I'm going to have some cereal and we'll end it with part one. I hope part one was pretty eventful for you. Uh, I set up the beautiful lights outside. And uh, 4th of July. Lincoln, who is it? It's 4th of July. It's 4th of July weekend. <laughs> Anyways, just had my cereal. Amazing. Super excited about this weekend. I, I'm just like repetitive because I can't believe it's, it's, we're, it's, it's here. So right now it is past midnight. It's about 1230, but it is technically the 4th of July. I see all the fireflies. I thought I got an you cannot see me, but it makes for good ending credits. Um, I guess well, this is the ending of this episode of first part of the three-part series. Uh, please like, comment, subscribe, and we will see you in the next one, Eleanor. Stay tuned and watch part two. Peace.